What's going on guys, JPS back for another video, and today we're going to be reacting to how different countries react to ambulance sirens. This is going to be a really interesting video. In the past, we've compared the reaction of ambulance sirens from people in the US to people in Germany, and I was really shocked with the difference. Like, something as simple as an ambulance siren, you probably don't think there's much there, but there's so many different things you can draw, draw or conclude from a reaction to an ambulance siren. You can, how, how well organized the country is, the roadways, the infrastructure, and also the reaction time from citizens, like how well educated are citizens, how much are they paying attention, um, how much do they care, things like that. So there's, there's definitely a lot to look at there. Also, it's just cool to see like these different places. What, what do the uh, emergency vehicles look like? What do the roads look like? What are, like how crowded are the you know exactly all that type of stuff? So, with that being said, we're gonna get right into it. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let's go. Well, that just looked like that just looked like a mess. There was nowhere to go, really. Look how small the ambulance is. And this guy is not ready to live late for the ambulance. Is still here, no one's even bothered to make some space for it. I know it's tight, but then you can you can try. No one's even moving left or right, they're just right in front of He's saying the ambulance is still behind him, no one's even like making an effort to move. But yeah, this looks awful. Like, no, no one cares. The gray car was almost boxing the ambulance in earlier. Never seen an ambulance so small though. Of the ambulance. And look at this guy. Nobody cares. This video just stressed me out watching it. So many people. Like, that's just embarrassing. You know, there's no, like, s uh, sense of urgency from anyone. And another problem I've noticed within the U.S. is us Americans when we're driving have a lot of trouble making coordinated efforts to clear the road. Like, if, if it's in the middle lane, move. these cars have nowhere to go. Everyone needs to get over. This right lane needs to get over. The left lane needs to get over. But that's the thing. They don't. They're just like, oh, let me just... And it's also the bystander effect. No one else is doing anything, so... What do I do? Like, that's that's just a huge thing in the United States. But this just, uh, it pisses me off. Because I'm going to go talk about how India is messed up with their ambulance reaction. And then we go and do the exact same thing, almost. <laughs> Maybe not that extreme. I mean, they had someone riding along. But I don't know. This There's people riding in front of it, too. Like, what are we doing? 
I don't even want to watch that anymore. It's annoying. Where is the ambulance? Like, that was just embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> the two U.S. reactions were just embarrassing. Like, I don't even know what to say. Look at this! Do you guys see like the night and day difference? Okay, and I don't think there's a motorcycle escort ahead telling people to get over. This is just as it's happening. Everyone just immediately first reaction, get over in complete synchronization. Like, look at this. These cars are almost at the exact angle. Do you know how impressive that is compared to the USA? And I'm not just trying to be like, oh my gosh, look. Like, oh, Europe, they do it so much, like, better. But it's just, like, the truth. If you compare those two videos, it's a night and day difference. And it seems like it doesn't matter where we go in Europe. Poland, boom. They got it down pat. Germany, boom. France, boom. It's like... It's a cultural difference at this point. <laughs> Okay, now I will say to be fair, it's not like they were going through four lanes of traffic at rush hour, but still, like you can tell, the reactions much more prompt, and everyone knows exactly what to do. That's following the example set. Let's see Japan now. I'm pretty curious for this one. So the ambulance has gone into that lane purely because it needs to do something, as in it needs to pay a fee or it has to give a card or something like that. Um, can you imagine it? that you you're in the you've been picked up by this ambulance uh because you're dying or you got some serious accident and you have to stop to pay tolls we just went through the toll gate there and it's not for another three or four kilometers down the road before the ambulance will catch us uh up but uh i, I was just mind blowing that they would have to stop to pay a fee whether or not they have to give a card saying hey charge it to this card or they actually have to, you know, find the 630 yen they, that's needed or something like that, uh, you know, to go through or whatever it is. The point is that they had to slow down and stop. What? 
that's pretty shocking honestly like just for the toll I'm trying to think what would it be in the United States I mean because obviously some toll roads you can't avoid and some of them have the photo system where they just snap a picture of your license plate and authenticate it then and there so yes they do have to stop but it's like for an extra second or two and I'm trying to think if that extra second or two is worthwhile to create an emergency lane that bypasses the toll I don't even know if that exists in the United States but I agree that is a little crazy like imagine you're just in the back dying and we're stopping at a toll what but okay this yeah this video is self-explanatory This video will never get old because it is a highway example and there are it looks like three lanes of traffic so just crazy impressive crazy impressive it might be two but still just the, the two lines on the side I believe I've yeah I've 100% I've seen this before but this Germany video is like that's that's the peak of ambulance reactions so yeah this was good to see uh, honestly made me feel a bit better about the United States reactions because I've seen that in other countries you know obviously Europe is an exception but well that's not so obvious and we haven't checked out all European countries ambulance reactions but just saying what it's like in India China reaction was awful too I mean that might honestly might have been the worst it was like no one even tried to move they just stayed where they were um, and then of course the USA we have I hate there's so much issues with traffic in the United States because of our lack of public transportation for a lot of cities and interconnecting cities it just causes mayhem if you you really have to be pay attention to when what time you're driving is if you get caught in a rush hour which is just like before or after people get off of work you're gonna be sitting in traffic for a very long time depending on where and uh, when Anyways, interesting video. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did too. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.